Well, hello everyone, it's Nina, and I'm here today with Newton's Nook Designs. We are showcasing the November release. This is day one, and today we are showcasing the Jolly Tags stamps and die set. This is a really cute stamp set that lets you create some really cute tags that all you have to do is color. So here I've got two of the tags stamped out. I'm going to be using the snowman and the penguin from the stamp set. There are also some other really cute images included in this set. And I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring. So here you can see I'm adding in some greens to this little snowman. I'm doing my base color here. And I've got all the colors that I'm using listed on the side of the screen. I'm also coloring in the little bird and other portions. I'm letting each color dry before I add more layers because these are small images. And as you add shading on top of them, it gets very easy for the images to bleed. So because of this, I am going to be doing my coloring in stages and jump between each one. So now you can see I'm taking in my blue color. This is the base color for the blue. And I'm doing some non-traditional color schemes here on the snowman, but I'm keeping the red and green tradition. It's just going to keep adding colors on top and the coloring is pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty basic and very easy to do. Not doing anything too uh, difficult on this. Now for the green, I wanted to make sure I incorporated some darker shadows to the back side of this snowman. So I'm using a very dark green to achieve this and I will then go back over top of it um, later on with my grays to darken that shadow up even more. Because if you know me, I like to make sure I keep a lot of contrast in my images when I'm coloring. And this is something that I do with my gray markers. I add in darker shading and shadows um, in the places where the light would be casting shadows. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing here uh, for the snowman. Of course, the snowman, you don't want to go too heavy on with the grays because otherwise it'll start to look dirty. But this is nighttime that I'm creating for my sky. So I want to make sure that he has enough shadows to look realistic. So now I'm bringing my grays and I'm deepening up those shadows where the light would be casting them. I'm just going to keep fiddling around with them and fixing the different color shadows. So for my tags, these are going to be done in two step processes. I'm coloring both my penguin and my little uh, snowman and I didn't show the coloring of the penguin but I colored them in the same type of way. And I'm going to color those onto white cardstock as you saw me do. Now with this white um, watercolor paper, I'm going to be doing my ink blending. And I'm going to do all of that on top of this card, uh, on top of this watercolor paper. And then I will take the images that I colored onto my cardstock and fussy cut those out. And what this does is it allows me to achieve the coloring and the ink blending and such that I wanted to do for these tags, but yet also keep the white embossed edges and all that because one thing with Copic markers is that they don't mix well with embossing powder. It messes up the tips of your markers. So because I wanted to keep the embossing powder for the uh, for the snow and the edges of the tag and all that, that's why I'm doing this two-step process. And it works really, really well. And it's a lot of fun too. You can do so many other different things when you do this two-step process. So for my ink blending, I'm using uh, Tumble Glass was the first color I applied down. Evergreen Bow was the second color. And now I'm adding Chip Sapphire. And I'm just making sure I got the shading the way I wanted it to. You can see I'm just lining up this penguin to make sure I like how it's looking. And because I did, I took off the tape. I used tape to mask it because it's a really easy way to mask off edges of your coloring and that kind of thing. And that was just some plain painter's tape. You could use frog tape or masking tape or whatever other kind of tape that's got a light tack to it. So now I'm die cutting the tags and I'm taking my fussy cut images and I'm gluing them on top of my die cut tags. As you can see I'm just using some PPA matte glue. Um, I put that into a fine tip bottle so it's nice and easy precision tip. Doing the same thing with the penguin. I'm going to apply glue onto him and then attach my penguin down. So now that I've got that glued down, I'm taking the snowbank from my snowman and I'm gluing that onto the bottom of my tag. Just adding that on and then some more glue for the bird. Let's take that and put that in place. And I did outline all of the edges of my images with a black marker and that just helps give them a nice clean edge and stand off the card a bit more. 
Using some enamel accents, I put that into a fine tip bottle as well because uh, I like the precision tip that these bottles have. And I'm just adding in some snow droplets to the background of the snowman because he didn't have any um, when you stamped him. So I'll just keep adding those around in different places. I'm also taking my white gel pen and I'm adding some dots around the shadowing of my paint, my snowman and also I'll do this to the penguin as well. And this just adds a bit more texture to your design and really adds a nice interest. So here I am doing it to the penguin as well. I just love the coloring of this penguin. He's so cute. I like doing blues for my penguins. It just adds a nice bit of uh, color and brightness to your images rather than a gray color. With some glossy accents, I'm applying this over top of the penguin's body. This will help give him some dimension and some shine, and add, it'll catch the light and add some really nice glimmer to the tag without getting too sparkly. With the fine tip of this bottle, it also helps to make sure that you get into all those nooks and crannies. It's really, really helpful. So here I'm taking some Altenew Crisp Inks. This is Ruby Red and Forest Glades. And I'm going to be doing some stamping using this Diagonal Stripe Stamps from Simon's Stamp. I'm going to be stamping in uh, background onto these cardstock tags that I've die cut. This is using the same Jolly Tag stamp uh, die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be layering these Diagonal Stripe Tags behind my colored tags that we just created. And what this is going to do is this going to help create a nice um, bit of pop of color and some added texture to the tags and really dress them up a little bit. So as you can see, that's just what I'm doing here. I'm adding in um, the stamping onto the tags and then we'll go ahead and attach these to our previously made tags. But before I do that, I'm going to be stamping this to and from, which is also from the Jolly Tag stamp set. And I'm just going to attack, uh, stamp that onto the back here using some black ink. And then I'll go ahead and attach the tags to each other. To finish them off, I'm using some ribbon and some bow wire to tie them all together. And this really dresses them up a little bit more and gives them a bit more of a festive feel. And that's going to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed. Be sure to stop over at my blog where you can get more still pictures and inspiration using the Jolly Tags stamps and die set. There's also a giveaway, so be sure to head on over to my blog to learn more on how you can enter that giveaway. And thanks again so much for stopping by. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you again soon.